<laughs> what does SVJ stand for? No idea. <laughs> we finished it in the parking lot of the hotel when we came down. Hurt's got cakes. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Dumps like a truck. So let's go check out the cars. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to This Versus That. Shout out to our guys over at NOS for helping us make this happen. This is really This Versus That. This is the epitome. This I like this. I like the This is Versus This, yeah. and I like the That Versus That, but I really enjoy a good This Versus That. You know what it also is? Canadian versus Canadian. Also, they came from Canada to race here. Is this like East Coast Canada versus West Coast Canada? Ooh, yeah. is it? Bieber versus Avril Lavigne or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> Where are we going with this? Woo. God, you just age yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what I'm talking about. Versus Avril Lavigne. Wow. That'd be sick. Dang. That's... I'd watch that. Anyway, let's go check out these Yeah, cars. let's go check out this. Should we start with the... The guy that clearly looks interested about being here. I'm making sure my lease payments are going through. Shut your mouth. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, you? What did you bring here? My name is Damon Fryer. I'm a small YouTube channel, and I brought a 2019 Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. What does SVJ stand for? No idea. You do not know shit about... F I believe Super Veloce Jota, and they're a couple of words combined from previous Lamborghini models of the past. For the people out there, not us. us. Okay. Tell them a little bit about the car. What is it? Like well, what's it got? Horsepower, sure. engine. I'll do the thing, I'll do the thing. Do it. So 2019, the first year they came out with the SVJ, at the time they came out with this car, it was the fastest production car around the Nürburgring, which was cool. Ooh. Little controversy around that, as there always is. But it's all wheel drive, powered by a naturally aspirated V12. I haven't ruined this one for the people who know I have a V12 Ferrari. <laughs> And it's straight piped, so it's all the noises of like a 1990 F1 car. Is this the same car that you drove into the dirt that time? Shh, don't bring that up. Is, is that the same one? <laughs> is this the same one? You, don't bring that up. At the SEMA? You just the did the Grand Theft that Auto paint change the on it. Hurry up, fool! Yeah, it's the so same. wait, the all wheel steering? Is that why it does such good donuts? Because the all wheel steering? I didn't know it was all wheel steering. I think it just does good donuts because it just gets down. Like, it, it's an awesome it's car. It's definitely all the car. It's awesome. Stock motor. All it's got is an amazing exhaust uh, from the boys at Gintani. They call it their special F1 exhaust. A lot of people have exhaust systems for these cars, but I'm not making this up. This just makes it sound that much higher pitch and it gives it that true F1 kind of sound. And it's got a mild tune. Doesn't really give it a lot more power. It's actually the tunes really just to make sure you don't have engine lights on. Is there on. anything we could see in the back of the exhaust? You wanna check it out? Uh, not really, we but- We should it, check it out yeah, and hear it. it. It's yeah. cool yeah, looking. We should get yeah. some yeah. revs. Yeah. It's cool looking. Did we, we even talk about power? 780 stock, so it's Ooh. probably still 780. 780 out of an NAV12. So yeah, it's red lines to 9,000 RPM. Ooh. So it's God, pretty cool. that's sick. These are the coolest sounding ever. They really are. Ever. This is all stock, this car, other than the wrap, the wheels, and the exhaust. Wow. It's a stock Wow, Lamborghini. stock aero so, catch. And the aero is active. So they, oh, it is. Yeah, ALA is an active aero through Lamborghini. It's cool too, because when you're driving and your active aero turns on, it shows the air pushing down on the car in the car. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. So here, let's, 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 let's show the motor, pop it. What? Yeah, like this. Uh, too expensive. And like that. Pull oh, it comes off? You look at how light that would And it's a great from... frisbee. How far can you throw it? It'd be very expensive. We're not going to do <laughs> yeah, that. <nope. laughs> Just put it on the roof, though. That seems fine. A little yeah. dirty because, because it is daily driven. I drove it here. I'll drive it home. I how many miles are on it? I think like 10,000. You want to rev this thing? I know you want me to rev it. Right? Yeah. 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 We uh, want uh, you to rev right. it. Let's they want, they let's, want you to rev it. That's kind of a must. Let's not uh, melt the dead cat should so we, don't get too close to it. Should we put this it. back on? It looks like it's going to blow away. Let's we're, not put gonna, it back we're not going to pay for it. Let's so. Put, yeah. so you buy one of these things from the dealer, and the only way to take the hood off is you got to take it off? Yep. It doesn't just pop? Nope. Seems cheap. Oh, God. Yeah, that 
That sounds amazing. That is insane. The fact that you could drive something on the street that sounds like that. It'll sound even better under nuts. load. What's this car worth? So as you know, all cars have gone nuts. I bought this car for 550,000 and these cars are selling as high as a million dollars now. US. Yep. A million dollar car versus what I would say looks like maybe a thousand dollar car. So let's go <laughs> look at it. From all the way the other side of Canada. Ontario. What's up, man? Who nice. are you? What do you come here with? I'm Austin Schiestel, and this is my 1980 Chevy C10. Tell us a little bit about you getting here. We left Ontario on Sunday night around 9 o'clock. It was about 51 hour drive. 51 hours. 51 hours. We did stop at the Grand Canyon, so that did take a couple hours. Dude, I love the commitment of when people <laughs> will drive out that far to come. That is a savage thing. road trip. And the night that we left, we drove through a snowstorm in Indiana. It took us about, I think, 12 hours to get out of Indiana, so. That's amazing. But you said before you left, it was like negative 20 in Canada, right? Yeah, negative 20 Celsius. So you couldn't get out of there quick enough anyways. No, no. Yeah. Like, we stopped a lot of gas stations and a lot of people stopped. They asked questions about the truck and they, they said, why do you have it down here? And we said, because we want to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> have you drag raced it? The most I've driven this was from from where we stayed at the hotel the other night to here. Oh, flawless. Wow. Yeah, the truck has pretty much zero drive time on it. So you just so you, finished it? Like this is a new we build? We finished it in the parking lot of the hotel when we came down. That Dang. always works out. How, well. how long have you been doing the build for? About a year. Okay, nice. What is it? Tell us about it. The engine, stock bottom end six liter out of uh, just an old work truck. VS Racing Turbo, Summit Stage 3 um, Turbo Cam. What it's, size is this turbo? It's an 85 mil. Large. Juicy. The radiator's out of a Chevy Avalanche and the front half of the frame's actually out of a uh, Cadillac Escalade. So when did you tune it? About 10 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. So you don't That's know how much commitment. power it makes? I have no idea. How I don't much, know how much power it has. I don't know what it weighs. How much boost? It'll probably spike to over 15 pounds, but okay. that's <laughs> what's in it for spring. That's, okay. a, waste th case. that's a healthy 800, 900 horsepower. I think so. Yeah. I love the, the non-tested. Just bring it out, figure it out. We stopped in New Mexico and did a pull on a back road. What else is done to it? You got what transmissions in it? Almost a stock 4L80E. It came out of an old work truck too. I just put a hardened input shaft in it and a converter. Oh, wait, hold on. This old, guy's missing the biggest point. Old work trucks come all wheel drive. Is this all wheel drive? This is all wheel drive. This guy's gonna breeze over the fact that this thing is all wheel drive also. Well, four wheel it, drive. It's four wheel drive. Four wheel drive. Yeah, four wheel drive. So four wheel drive. I can put some respect on the name. Excuse me, sir, Rally. Yeah. I apologize, <laughs> Lord Rally. Thank you. That's is awesome. it, what is it, like a Trailblazer SS? It's actually. Setup, or like, where, what is it out of? It's a Cadillac Escalade. Oh, Escalade. So okay. I picked the Escalade up for a thousand bucks, parted it out. <laughs> so it's full time. Where are you getting an Escalade for a thousand bucks? Canada. It was bad. So this front diff actually has half a million kilometers on it, which is, I don't know how many miles, but it's a lot. 300,000. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a lot. So That's honestly when they just get warmed up. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> is it like a Honda Ridgeline? I bet it's like part of the cab. Oh, wow. I didn't even put that yeah, together. I didn't yeah, I did not It was actually less work to weld the box sides to the cab than it would have been to build more bracing. So I just, uh. I made it all one piece. So you got a lot of stuff back here too. Yeah, I also back half the truck and- so you got uh, a four link? Yep. Link. And you did all this yourself? Everything was done myself in my, uh, my dad's drive shed. It's basically a barn. So, so this isn't your first rodeo building a car? No, I've never built anything like well, this. Like is this. your first rodeo? Yeah. He's a genius. I've built engines and stuff and put them in stuff, and I have a uh, turbo built Silverado SS. But okay. I've never done anything like this. What's inspired this build? Jim Connor Seven, honestly. Okay. Dang. <laughs> I, I watched. Sick. I watched Jim Connor Seven when I was in high school. I think it was in grade eleven when they tied Ken's car up and did the four wheel drive burnout. I said, someday I'm going to build something that does that. Guys, maybe this is saying. what we've inspired. <laughs> so it's insane. Kurt, can I ask you a question about yes, this? Yes, sir. Do you approve this ride height? This man oh, is yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, in both, Static. In, in both areas, yeah. too. Yeah. No, Nobody I believes appreciate. it's four-wheel drive if it's low. Are these yeah, the Escalade yeah. wheels? Those are actually Trailblazer SS replicas. Okay, okay. Does it turn? The front is talking like half the rim. Well, I took a two by four actually and put it in <laughs> inside the fender and I kind of pulled on it. Can you tell me about this outfit? That's oh, a race suit. Yeah, it's my race suit. <laughs> I was really hoping you would say that your name is Lee. My name is not Lee. Uh, Lee's a guy from work that actually gave me shit for wearing other people's coveralls, so I thought it'd be funny to wear it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, a, a, that's a nice That's troll. even better, yeah. actually. Fuck you, Lee. <laughs> Does he know? I hope no, he, doesn't he doesn't even know. Yes! No ah! idea. I can't wait That's for it. Amazing. I hope this video goes viral just to piss him off. Yeah, oh, suck it, Lee. <laughs> Comment below. You got a handbrake. Is that for like launching or is that like you want to slide this thing around? I'd like to slide it around. How does that work? I don't it's know yet. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your most powerful vehicle. Yeah, I've never been in anything like this before. Yeah. And I put it together. But it has a cage and I'm going to wear a helmet, so it'll be fine. Yeah, it's, and you got a spray suit on. Your odds are pretty good. I've raced once and I lost to a girl. 
<laughs> 14 year old. So I'm assuming you guys have both watched the show, seen yep. the show. Heads up to a thousand feet. Whatever happens after the first race, we could figure out a race that makes sense. Okay. I'm all day with the Lambo. I'll get the jump. I don't think I'll make it to a thousand feet faster. I want the underdog to win, but I think the Lambo might get it. I will never vote for a supercar. 500 will be close, but Lambo. Me? German engineered Italian made car, American car made by Canadians. Canadians. Wait, they're both Canadians. Yeah, they're both Canadians. Man, the truck. Technology has proven itself time and time again, so even though I think it makes a hundred or two less horsepower, I think DD is going to take it. Lamborghinis are fast, but sure as God's got sandals, that truck's going to boogie. Uh, I go with a couple thousand dollar truck and roll the dice. The story, the personalities, everything about this truck I, I love, and I'd love to see them take the win here today, so I'm going with these guys. I'm going to go Lamborghini because if, then if he loses, then he's got to let me drive it. Zach, this is always a lose-lose for me when I bring an expensive car. Exactly. Long <laughs> until we're gonna actually want to line. He's gonna make a test. He's gonna make one test in, and then you can go. Good. I'll turn around. I feel so poor. Honestly, did better than I to thought. The, to the 500, that's a pretty good race. A good race. For a first pass in its whole life. You guys want to just crank cool. that boost up to like 40 and let's send yeah, it? Yeah, I think rip so. that waistband. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, we might have lost, but you know what? Still winning, Leaf. It's you. <laughs> Boogies once it gets down. Sure does. So he took you by two cars, but honestly, that was a pretty damn good race for the first pass this thing has ever taken in its life. I'll tell you the truth, missed second gear. Oh. I didn't bump the shifter head quick enough. Oh. You just look at Rule something here. One, we're not gonna tell them look, about look at these that. things. Yes. <laughs> look at these things. Look at right those here. mitts. He's in the zone right now. He's in it. I can't believe it. Yeah. It works so good. That was sick. <laughs> for something you built in your barn versus something Italy built for way too much money, I'm thoroughly <laughs> impressed. Is it Heads up to 500. All right. All right. Deal. I so mean, remember, this, this race calls it. One. So if you lose this you get one, no perks you lose Lambo. the whole thing, and you have to give Lee back his suit. I might cut it into a romper first. <laughs> oh! I feel like I'm a member of ABBA. We gotta go back to a thousand foot. Yes, sir! You got yes. him! Told you I'd get him. Yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> give me the jump next time to 500 feet and we'll go again. Oh, you mean give me the jump to a thousand? Sure. Oh, yeah, give me the jump. Sure. Deal? Okay. That's you take race. the hit to a thousand feet. Canadians, they're like the nicest negotiators <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> okay. Oh, that sounds great. Hey, man, if I win, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're giving the truck the hit yeah. and they're gonna race to a thousand feet final race this one's for the win
Oh, that was a that thing that is a a great race. That was sick. Damn. Oh! Hey! And also, Keely. <laughs> I'm sick of your bullshit. I, I think if we did heads up like a thousand, it would be dead even. Uh, something happened to his truck. He needs his guys to go down there. That's why he's pulled over. He's got so, like. Let's celebrate great. your loss, but your car yeah. making it back by doing some donuts. You know you lost, Did you come out here thinking that this thing would beat a Lamborghini? I did not, not even remotely. Nice job, man. This Thank thing you. is sick. Hell yeah. That was incredible. You never had me. Is it gonna be loud? Bet your ass it will be. It's gonna get us kicked out of here forever. Start the suit.